Hello everyone, for today's video I'm going to show you my practice exercise on securing the marine boiler with using of wet preservation. So wet preservation is the process of preserving our marine boiler when we are not using it for a longer time. So we are going to fill the boiler with chemically treated water in order to avoid corrosion. So, so as you can see on this simulation, we also have a limited access on various systems. Yeah. And in order to start the simulation, I need to press Shift F1. So now it's on running condition. So I'm going. You have only 15 minutes to fulfill the assessment. So I'm going to click uh, OK. We only have 15 minutes. And I'm going to go here on the boiler combustion and I need to switch off the boiler first okay so switch it off switch off the burner management okay and switch off the boiler air fan put everything on manual close this atomizing steam so acknowledge the alarms okay I'm going to uh, close the steam heating and stop as well the edge of the pump okay so if there are alarms just acknowledge So we have already secured here on our boiler combustion page. Let's proceed here on the uh, oil fired boiler. And here we are going to close uh, the main steam stop valves. You know? Going to the deck machineries and going to our various consumers. So in order to close the main steam valve, click here put zero so this means it is closed zero opening same also here and you will notice that the pressure will uh, drop make sure to close as well these valves of our circulating pumps drain the line open the vent There will be a plenty of alarms here on this simulation and unfortunately we can access some of the systems since we are only showing how to uh, execute the wet preservation of the boiler. Okay. Shift as fog to acknowledge silent the alarms. We have already secured here on the oil fired boiler page. Let's go here on the steam generation plant. Just acknowledge the alarms. And secure this main feed water pump and close this. And we can use this auxiliary feed water pump. This is a big pump, so this can fill our uh, boiler faster so we are going to use this one so we need to make sure that uh, the outlet valve coming from the pump is open okay and we can start it put here on manual and we can uh, manually control the load on our auxiliary feed water pump i will just put 20 okay and this will fill our boiler and we need to make sure when filling that uh, the water will overflow here on the vents and you can assume that it already overflowed here on the vents when our auxiliary feed water pump will automatically drip. So just a reminder, this uh, feed water tank 
the water here it's uh, treated so this will uh, preserve the tubes of our boiler It's almost there, it's almost full, and it will overflow in the vents. Okay, so as what you can see, our auxiliary feed water pump automatically tripped since we have already a full uh, marine boiler. So now we have already full marine boiler with uh, feed water, treated feed water, so we can now close the vents. And we can put this uh, opening, I mean the load of the auxiliary feed water pump to zero. And let's wait for a while until these uh, valves, automatic valves, will close as well. Don't forget to close the valve which is going to the marine boiler. So let's wait until these automatic valves will close. So as what you can see, the automatic valves for both auxiliary feed water pump and the main feed water pump is now already closed. Okay. So now is we are going to secure the pumps by switching the breakers off. So I'll go here in the process directory and go here on the main switchboard and I'm going to look for the uh, pumps and the fan of which is uh, connected to the boiler and I'm going to switch it off. Okay. 
So pumps and boiler air pump of our oil fired boiler is now secured. I think that's it. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. Ciao.